So in the Army, we understand that personnel are our number one priority at all times, um, including in this uh, pretty dangerous time going on in the world. So uh, we also understand that readiness is very close behind that. It's our number two priority. So we're just continuing turning wrenches throughout the night, um, working on our H-64 maintenance, um, whether it's uh, during phase maintenance or unscheduled maintenance. Um, we understand that we have a mission still um, and unit readiness is, is still a top priority. Um, so to mitigate with the kind of crazy time we have going on in the world, we have a single point of entry into all of our hangars. Um, they're going to use hand sanitizer, hand washing stations in and out of every single building. Um, and at all times we're about 25 to 50% manning um, to kind of mitigate that, those social interactions um, and try to cut those down a little bit. And then the social distancing um, using about six feet working on all the aircraft uh, between everybody. So um, that has really helped us keep safe down here. And yeah, and our, our leadership. Um, they've been awesome about doing town hall meetings and kind of keeping us all up to date. Um, they kind of came at this with a the high intensity and I tip my cap off to our guys down here who have also matched that intensity um, and looking out for each other, policing each other, their battle buddies up and making sure we're all doing the right things down here to stay safe. Um, so like I said, to include the social distancing, making sure that their battle buddies are coming in and out of the hangar um, at a single entry and making sure that they're policing up their buddies on the hand washing and everyone's practicing safe procedures. Um, that's what's keeping us successful down here. We understand we have a mission still. We understand the fight tonight um, and we will be ready.